Hi everybody and greetings from Romania. My name is Mihai and uh, I wish to share with you uh, during the night in Romania uh, a short uh, story about uh, predation and uh, the night seems to be the perfect time to discuss about uh, predation uh, in the mountains of Dracula. So. I hope uh, you will enjoy a little bit the, my short presentation. I know that now in Kalispell it's uh, probably somewhere around 11 a.m. So um, it's the time for a coffee break. Uh, and uh, I can imagine that um, uh, how a coffee break will look like during uh, the IBA conference with people talking, discussing. Uh, also, um, sharing knowledge about uh, brown bears or whatever other species of bears. So, I can imagine that during this break, uh, I will have the opportunity to, dis to discuss with uh, some of you at least uh, the complex patterns of human bear conflicts and uh, maybe to put together small pieces of, of puzzle that. Uh, um, creates and develop the, the coexistence between human and uh, wild free roaming bears. Um, I wish to share with you a short story about predation. Uh, recently I decided to buy four chickens. Uh, I built a large and friendly enclosure for them in my backyard. Uh, despite being afraid that uh, my three dogs will not agree with uh, sharing the space uh, with, with them. Uh, finally, the inevitable happened. Uh, in the third day of coexistence, um, one of the dogs killed all the chickens. Uh, it was obvious that uh, the main cause um, was the predator behavior of a young untrained dog and also the fact that I had built the enclosure superficially uh, allowing her to enter. Um, I could not stop uh, asking myself a lot of other questions. Why the dog, uh, the young female and not the male, was the killer? Um, if I would have only one dog, this would have happened. Uh, it was uh, my fault building uh, the enclosure uh, large, so I had reduced the space for the dogs. Uh, to freely run uh, in the backyard. Uh, should I have put uh, my dogs in a separate enclosure so they would not stay in the proximity of the chickens? Uh, it was clear to me that even in a control environment it is difficult to ensure safety to one property and to imagine the whole complexity of factors uh, influencing uh, the predation event. Uh, so. Within the large unfragmented landscape of Romania, there is little resemble to a control environment and uh, the problem of human bear conflicts uh, and its social and ecological complexity has become of huge interest in Romania, uh, mainly due to the changes in the bear hunting management and um, all related complications that appeared. Uh, in particular, uh, livestock damage caused by brown bears affects rural people disproportionately and uh, there is an increased need to evaluate uh, the special and temporal patterns of livestock damage and identifying factors that might influence the prevalence of conflict. Uh, I really hope that IBA conference will be not postponed again because uh, we would like to discuss with you why for cows likelihood of conflicts increased with higher habitat heterogeneity and um, proportion of grazing lands and it was higher and high and low altitude while for sheep likelihood of damage was higher in areas uh, with higher reported bear abundance and in cases when sheep falls were closer to the forest age. So we really hope that uh, with our results, we will contribute to general efforts of bear researchers and managers to improve the coexistence of humans and bears. So, I really hope that I will have the chance to present our work 
uh, in Calispell as soon as possible. So I wish you all to stay healthy and uh, see you soon in Calispell. Goodbye.